So I was I, I was just doing some light reading. Don't mind me. I was just I was just doing some light reading. Don't mind me at all. Oh yeah, Sutton got absolutely screwed. So we should have been first. Sutton United should have been second. They ended up in 12th. They had 11 less points than they should have had. So Sutton did get screwed worse than us. But also just seeing us at the top of the XG table. Not a great way to make yourself feel better. Roach goals versus XG. Oh, we can we can look at that. We can actually look at that. We go player forwards physical output. No. We get goal output. He's not even on the list. There he is, James Roach. That's goals per 90 minutes. That's we need scoring, right? Which is conversion rate. Honestly, his conversion rate not that bad. We're we're in we're in seven hells. That's Sheldon. That's Ford. Where is Roach, dude? Oh, he's over here. Oh, his conversion rate is. Oh man, it's eight point eight nine percent. That's pretty bad. <laughs> his conversion rate is eight point eight nine. Hey, he's a freaking hero. He is a hero. He had 18 and a half XG. This dude does not take penalties, by the way. 18 and a half XG, 12 goals. Scored multiple direct free kicks, which would be low XG conversions as well. So dribbly, though. Yeah, he is. He had 90 dribbles. 90 dribbles made in 38 appearances in Skybet League 2. 30 starts, 8 off the bench. Rotations wild. He is the dribbliest boy. Jimmy Roach had the most XG. All right, he had 22.28 all comps and 16 goals. Trey Lucas had 15 and 15 goals. Shaq Ford outscored his XG. He had 13 goals and 11 XG. Prince Henry was 10 for 10. Sheldon had 12 goals and 9. Beachy had 12 goals and 8.81. He was still awful, though, this year, most of the time. Kelly had 8 goals and 5.8 XG, which is nice. Dribbles per 90? Oh, it's all James Jimmy Roach. Over 3 dribbles per 90 in league play. Tackles per 90? Daniel Watts actually had the most. Charlie Whitaker had 2.82. Jack Roberts was there. Balling out dribbles per 90. Dermy LaSala had 2.12 dribbles per 90. Would not have guessed that. Are you in League One? Yeah, we are. We always finish third, dude. Every year of this save but one, we have finished third. And it's all we need. Powering up to League One like it's our job. I'd continue. Snowden was... No shot. He got flagged as the best transfer. Shaq Ford, who we paid actual money for, I think was worth it. Real shame he couldn't play in those last couple of matches. I think if Shaq Ford's not suspended for those last three matches, we're probably winning the league there. Thanks for all you do to enhance my FM experience, Zed. The promise of Sheldon's about to expire. I know, but he's already said he's exploring his options. So we're curious to see if Sheldon, like, <clears throat> is going to leave or no. Yeah, reputation hasn't changed yet. I get it. All right, I want to see Luke, Luke, Lucas. Trey Lucas. Then Kelly, Whitaker, Roach, and Oko. Trey Lucas was our highest selling. Okay. All right. I really hope we can get to some sort of national. Uh, let's watch goal of the year. Some sort of national recognition would be freaking awesome, by the way. Something. This is goal of the year, Ferdinand Oko, who only scored three goals all season. I think it should have been Beachy, but you know what? Whatever. It's hard to argue with that. I mean, that is a dime. That's an abs. <sighs> Just have to give me a little sedan right there, right? Two time manager of the month. Ford, Lucas, Roach. Sheldon really wasn't in the team of the year. Kelly, Wright, Snowden, Wood, Kwanzaa, Doy, Lazala. Uh, player of the season, Patrick Kelly. He was also a young player of the season. Snowden was signing of the season. 
top goal scorer was Jimmy Roach at just 16 goals. Those couple of late goals this season. He was the top goal scorer. Jacob Wright had the most assists in uh, the whole season at 12. Most player of the match awards. Ford had five. Kelly had the highest rating. Most passes completed per 90. Always a funny guy. It's Farino this time. Youngest ever player, Landry Canate, the Loney from Arsenal. And then Josh Keeley was the highest transfer fee received at $300,000. Manager timeline. Yeehaw, brother. Saddle up. Mert Van Mary, thank you for the 14 months. Ah, we've added more casual fans. Boo! 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 It's all about the hardcore! Right, we play attacking soccer, make the most of set pieces, uh, play counterattacking, and play direct. We've developed the whole club uh, culture here. The board and chairperson Kevin Stanley announce on this day, the 11th of May, 2027, that Taunton Town will be seeking to construct a new stadium for the enjoyment of the masses and the peacocks. Thank you. Direct any questions to our esteemed manager. All right, you guys ready to do this? Because we're doing this. We call it the process, okay? The process. And we are going to do the process. All right? Liverpool won, by the way, by a point over City. Liverpool won the league. Brennan Johnson and Che Adams were two of the top three scorers and Southampton finished seventh. So take it all with a grain of salt, but process. These are the freaking grayed out players. The heck is wrong with you, man? Oh, the eight odds. The goal to the U18 side. Find <laughs> what in the white suburban mom name is this? <gasps> Tottenham. No! Not again, Tottenham. Fight the memes. Resist the memes, Tottenham. Fight them. It happened again. It's heritage. They lost 1-0 in the FA Cup final. Dang it. Tottenham. Hey, we got half a mil. Holy mo We have a million dollars in the bank. One million dollars. A million dollars. Do I? I'm like resisting the urge to invest it in. Um, I am resisting the urge to invest it into improvements. Yes! Yes! Finally, for the first time, I've won a manager of the year award. That's what I'm freaking talking about, baby. That's what I'm freaking talking. This guy might be good. David Eaton might be a very good player. Um, that's what I'm talking about. Sheldon today. Today should be Sheldon day. Marcus Sheldon. Oh, glorious. Oh, he was exploring his options, but now he's not. And at long last, we can turn Marcus Sheldon into a professional player. It's been 52 years. He played a whole season in League Two as a semi-pro because of that stupid promise. And we can now enter contract negotiations with lowered expectations. <laughs> I just kicked off a whole wave of PTSD for me. What is he asking for? Improved training facilities for a third time. Dude, really? We've improved them twice since you signed for the team. At least it's not hard locked anymore. Come on, come on. And then like two years from now, you become a regular starter. Let's go. 
And then we nerf the, oh, oops. Oh, goodness. R reset, reset, reset. It's great to be back. And also Trey Lucas is now fully satisfied with the club's training facilities. It's just that easy. Bet on yourself. I have one more delay. Let me use it. Yeah, okay. You're good, man. You do you, Charlie. Ronnie Marine getting more offers. You wouldn't dare go to Nuneaton Town in the 6th Division, would you? Nick, you're a full-time head coach. Right? Take the deal, man. Take the deal, Nicholas. Take the deal. All right, Prim Rejects, but better. Doubtful transfer interest. We're going to sort out all of the people that we know how good they are. And then we are going to offer trials to all the people that we don't know how good they are. Watch me whip. Watch me nay nay. Why did that not work? How dare you? It worked on the other guy. Why are you not exactly the same? That's awful. Frankie McGuire finally off the free list. Good for him. All right. I'll, uh, you know, we all know what happened. All I had to do was continue one time and then I can resolve the contract talks. I appreciate your apology and we're willing to reopen discussions. Whoo, mama. We're getting rid of that. We're getting rid of that right there. Team of the year bonus. Don't think so. Top goal scorer bonus. International cap bonus is going to be fat as well. 43. There we go. I had a feeling you'd come around, Jimmy. It's not a bad contract. Get him locked up long term. We will probably end up selling him for half a mil at some point because he puts in a lot of minutes for us and he is that dude. Oh, rumors of a takeover of EFL Papa John's Pizza Hut Domino's Trophy semifinalist Taunton Town are circling with one or more interested groups believed to be preparing offers. A club source indicated that no formal bids have been made. Chairperson Kevin Sterney would be willing to entertain the proposition. Roach pins his new contract and is happy with his new deal and happy being part of the team. Good holy trinity for a guy that can play out on the wing. He can play winger on the right. He can be an inverted winger off the left, deliver crosses. He's a very technically solid passer. Sucks at defense. The size and the work rate and the decent athleticism. I'm intrigued by this guy. Huddersfield, West Brom, and yeah, I'm not the only one. So we're going to go ahead and... I'm a squad player in which he is not expecting. And relegation release clause, bro, zero. Minimum fee release clause to teams in a higher division. I'll lower it. I'm not normally the type of person to entertain these sorts of release clauses. I'll also give you a non-promotion release clause because I like to think we really know what we're doing of $200,000. And I want to do that so that you will take a deal at that. Okay. The reason I'm giving him the playing time is because normally I would just give him the normal like other offer breakthrough prospect or whatever but i have a feeling this is going to come down to him deciding who he wants to play for and we have the opportunity yes baby yes wow. nick mccuti is staying we have the opportunity to beat him because we're offering him good playing time whereas the other clubs are not you know do -do 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 -do. Whoop. of course cody cox baby please don't be good you can't. You cannot. Please don't be good. I don't want to deal with that. Please. I'm begging you. Just don't. Just for once, be like Gareth Swindles, who has an awesome name, and I wish he was good, right? Just please. Please don't be good. I do not want to deal with that. I don't need that in my life. 
They've had two offers from clubs who wish to be linked with us. Cardiff City. We <laughs> finished two points out of Oh, I hate it. Middlesbrough's going up, though. That was the other offer. Cardiff City is, like, almost in our league. They finished two points above getting relegated to the league we're going to be in next year. The other one was Middlesbrough. They just went up. It's definitely Middlesbrough. Why do you need my help making this decision? It's Middlesbrough. Recommend team. I Look, I, I, I have a lot of love for Cardiff, right? But I, 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 lean to the, I lean to Swansea in that derby. I do. I lean to Swansea in that var derby. They'll pay us an annual fee of 43K, and we get... They may send us players on loan at any time, and we'll cover their salaries. We have no obligation to play the player, and he may be recalled. We have the option to host a friendly against Middlesbrough and keep the full gate receipt. They'll be under no obligation to field a full strength side. That's fine. But I'm okay with that deal. This guy is... is, is Especially if we're looking to like change the direction our team is looking to go. This guy is pretty good. Let's say... Oh, <laughs> Who are you and what have you done with like every other play? That's so low. Like relative to what I thought it was going to be, that is so low. Give you $17,000 if you had 20 goals and assists this year. I so did not expect for that contract to even be possible. I just wanted to see what he was interested in. At first, I am absolutely shell-shocked that that was possible. I, I'm, I'm telling you guys, this, he's grown on me. He's very well-rounded. He can win the ball. He can distribute. He's 17 years old. We can do better. I'm not signing him to be a starter. All right, he's signing on a breakthrough prospect. For a little more money than I would like, he's either footed, right? He's not slow. He's not particularly stupid. He's not bad going forward. Oh, yeah, he wants a loan move. You know, we might actually be able to do that and end up making money off of this guy because he's clearly valuable. I know, and I don't hate him as a player. Like, I really, I could see him playing a part if that potential's legit. We would loan him out, though. Because we did promise him the loan. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. We're first signing of the window. 17-year-old Chelsea Youth Academy prospect, Danny Graham. Coming in. And then we'll look to move him along. Oh, his potential's not actually that good. Well, that's a bit of a strikeout. Thanks, scouts. Not telling us anything. A pickup of a guy that can take people on in the dribble, that can run the wing and provide a, a variety of attacking threats. And he also signing as a fringe player, the 22-year-old from Everton, joining League One side Taunton Town. He'll be a he's slick. He likes to run with the ball a lot. He's got three different run with the ball traits. And I'm thinking inside forward off the right side for Francis Okoronkwo as he leaves Everton, having not made a senior appearance for Everton or Sunderland and alone like five years ago. Francis Okoronkwo has never played a senior match of ball, so this is going to be a nice introduction to that for him. Isaac, I was going to pay you a lot more money, dude, and you were going to be... No, I wasn't. Oh, my goodness. They paid him $272,000 a year. Guess we're not signing Isaac Culpin. Holy smokes. I was like, I always make that mistake. It's their old contract on the first page, and the second page is their new one. They're paying him $272,000 a year. Go get the bag, Isaac. Hello, Diamond. Oh, my good. I love this guy. The agility for separation. He's not actually stupid. He's a pretty good passer. He's not a bad defensive player. I love this guy. He's very singularly footed, but I, I actually lo I love this guy. I really do. Like if we're looking for somebody that can play a wing on the right that isn't going to ask for a lot of playing time that we just want to pick up. He's a diamond in the rough. I hate it here. Just kidding. I love you. 
Diamond, you are so freaking awesome, man. Diamond, you are great. By Max Oyadeli. Glatzel's a winger. We like Glatzel, Paul Glatzel. He's a good player, passes the ball well, moves well, plays his shots. Oh, man, I like Glatzel. Plays one twos. Um, regular starter, get rid of training facility improvements. Didn't expect that to work. It totally did, and I'm going to eviscerate this kid. This poor this this poor child has no idea what's about to hit him. Okay. Team of the year bonus, international cap bonus, top goal scorer bonus, relegation release clause, boom. Um Gladsell estimated cost is at zero. See, I have no idea what you could possibly fetch in the open market, but a non-promotion release clause of uh, 150k, probably good enough. Right, and then we're gonna drop this like a rock down to 39. He doesn't care. That wasn't good enough. So non-promotion release clause of 80k. Drop this like a rock to 47, and we got it. So. Oh yeah, it was Tyreek. You were so right. It was Tyreek Wilson. I'm just going to agent. Hi, uh, we're very interested. Uh, we'd be willing to consider all. He's willing to consider all of his options. Oh, that sounds swell. Um, playing you know, the contract demands. I'd agree. We're going to go in with an offer here. Two 12 monthly installments that add up to 25. Shut up. I don't think we'll be able to negotiate a contract with him. If we can, then we have a really difficult decision to make. What is that recommended? Did you see the recommended time they just put in there? What is that? They were the recommended was like prospect or emergency backup. Who is in charge of this? Okay, uh, relegation release clause and a non-promotion release clause that is also zero dollars. And we're going to need you to go down a lot. Oh, he dislikes me? I'm not paying Tyreek Wilson that much money. I mean, that is that right there is what I can do. That is so expensive. Holy smokes. We don't have to make the decision right now. We don't have to make the decision right now. I, I we, just, we have so much extra money to spend, and he is a serious improvement. No! Oh, Cody Cox is not... He's not bad. He's just not good enough. Hard-working guy. Good... Oh. End of contract deal for, in my opinion, a fabulous winger that everybody's overlooking and a guy that can participate in excellent build-up play with his tremendous passing and his ability to control the ball and get by people in tight spaces. I think he fits exactly what we need if we're, sp we're expanding our system to be able to incorporate wing players. Diamond Edwards. He doesn't even want a lot of playing time. He's on fringe player. From Southampton's academy, Jed Spence is moving. Well, you know, to be fair, never thought we had a shot at him in the first place. There we go. There's an inside player off the left side that we don't hate, that moves well, that can take players on with creativity. He's not a bad goal scorer. He's got decent long shots as well. What do you want, Joel? Breakthrough prospect. Say less. Holy say less. You know, I kind of get you're demanding the 18 here. I do. I, I don't even have a problem with the 18. Like, honestly, say less, Indala. Delay. We get two delays. I've used my first. I want to use both because after we get our reputation boost from our deep FA Cup run and tremendous performance in the EFL trophy, which obviously matters a ton for this sort of thing. We're going to be off and running. Hinshelwood was good, but he also wanted way too much money. And then there's Alfie Lewis. Yes. Yes. Not Premier League level yet. That's fine. That's totally okay. We are 
Still a little ways down here. We are not in League 2. We have all oh, come on, dude. Really? We, 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 oh, we're still, we're not even ahead of every national league team. I, I'm, just, why, what, why, why are we even here, dude? What is the point of all of this? Kane Taylor, who we never had a look at. Uh, Cardo Kitimbala stays a prospective loan offer. And Paul Glatzel, who's signing on to be. You know, fairly regular player on this team. He's got great shifty change of direction. He can pass. He can move. We're looking for well-rounded players. They can do it all, right? We're not looking for guys that are entirely dominant in one thing anymore. We've got a nice system, and this guy fits into that system to give us, like, maybe a little 4-2-3-1. I think we could play a brilliant 4-2-3-1 this year.